Minnesota is going green and fast. Officials have set an ambitious goal for the state to be carbon neutral by 2050. To get there, we have to do two things. We need to generate all of our electricity from clean sources like wind and solar, and we need to electrify everything we can. We have to remake all the cars and trucks, homes and office buildings that currently burn oil and gas so they can instead use that clean electricity. The federal government has pledged billions of dollars to spark the clean energy transition. But there are many challenges Minnesota must overcome to get to green. For example, building all the solar panels and wind turbines Minnesota needs to produce all of its electricity by 2040 requires a lot of land. Most of that land is in rural communities, where many residents are pushing back against green development. Generating more electricity from many different places also creates a need for many new electric power lines crisscrossing the landscape, which has also raised the ire of some rural residents. Meanwhile, it's still incredibly difficult to find an electric vehicle to buy in Minnesota. And for those who own EVs, there aren't enough high-speed chargers available around the state to reduce drivers' range anxiety for longer-distance trips. But those challenges create opportunities as well. For example, tens of thousands of clean energy workers are needed to make the transition a reality. That creates the possibility for good-paying jobs in rural communities and urban neighborhoods. NPR News will explore those challenges and opportunities in a new series called Getting to Green, Minnesota's Energy Future. <laughs>